Um, I just wanted to also mention that if the seed has a longer maturity uh, date, so like if it's, you know, over 100 days, for example, the best thing to do is to start it in your house or if you have a greenhouse or something. Um, we have tried that in the past, uh, but we have a house cat who really likes his greens, so we do not do that anymore, so that's why we go with um, seeds that have a shorter growing period. The reason why we don't really do growing in the house is because of our cats. But another big problem is, is that we found when we upgraded our windows on the house that the light isn't let in as much. So that means you're going to have to use artificial light, which means plugging in a light and doing a light cycle, sometimes 16 hours and then the rest of it off. Um, for me personally, it was just a pain in the butt. I did do try it. Um, not the greatest success. Because of their two cats, they decided to eat everything. Um, go ahead and give it a try. Each to their own. The only thing that I probably should have done is probably put the plants in a cage. But at that point in time, I just ended up going to a greenhouse and buying the plants that I needed, like the peppers and the tomatoes. So what we mean by full sun is in a full day, you'll get 12 to 16 hours worth of sun. That's what that means on it, constant sun. If it says part sun, that means it basically needs a minimum amount of sun per day and it'll say on the name tag most of the time. Uh, sometimes you have to go searching online, but 90% of the time it will say on the net, on the tag saying, I need eight hours of sun for this plant to survive minimum for an example. Follow it. Um, there's some odd occasions where you can get away with a little differently, but 99% of the time you need to follow it. So full sun means all the time sun. Part shade means it needs to be in shade some of the day, or at least half of the day, or for the hottest part of the day. That's a fun one to do because then that means you have to have some trees or shrubs around it to protect it. And then you have basically very little. And then there's another one that says minimal sun. I've ran into it twice, but like I said, you pick and choose your battles. On that one sometimes some people say ah you don't have to believe it sometimes people say you have to believe it so pick and choose uh, do some research on the plant a lot of times if you look into a plant for an example corn I'm gonna bring this up some people may not have known this but corn was actually here for here and shown to us by the First Nations people and believe it or not on a corn plant there's only one piece of corn, one kernel of corn. And over the years, through time, we've now made it to a cob of corn. I found that fascinating on a garden talk show when I was listening to it. So do some research into the plants and figure out what they need. And it'll be quite amazing sometimes when you figure out, for an example, tomatoes. Tomatoes like more of an acidy soil rather than a neutral soil. So do some research into each of the plant and you can kind of critique everything to the plant if you know you only want to grow one or two items.